Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. For the last time we left Oleg's trading post and we made our way down to the ancient tomb here where we ran into Tortuccio, Valerie, and Jethal. Uh, Valerie decided she would join us. She was done with Tortuccio's um, dastardly methods. She joined us but Jethal and Tortuccio managed to escape. And we chased Tartuccio down towards the old sycamore where he had turned himself into a kobold. And Jethal, we think, got captured by kobolds. And um, I did a little bit of research. Just a little bit of research on possible builds for Valerie. Because, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like the Tower Shield Specialist class. I think it's a bit boring. Um, also, um, her dex is pretty bad and I feel like a lot of the AC for um let me see let me show you let me show you so she gets this armor training right so this makes it so you can add more of your dex bonus to your AC no matter what you're wearing your heavy armor and tower shield specialist which is the same thing Right? The armor penalty is reduced by 3, and the maximum dex bonus allowed by this tower shield is increased by 2. Right? So all of this is only going to increase her AC if her dex is high. And her dex is not high. <laughs> her dex is very low. So she's not really benefiting a ton from this class. Right? And then when you look at her other stats, right? Khan is high, which is good for barbarians and monks really um i mean it's good for every class because hp is always great but like it's only like super super good for those two classes as far as i'm aware of there might be others but so there's that but we already have a barbarian and i don't think she'd make a great barbarian anyway um actually she probably would make a decent barbarian um her her strength and dex aren't great she like barbarians don't need charisma at all but i mean her stats aren't so far off from what um hers are and i'm pretty sure is it this game where barbarians get ac from con no that must be that must be 5e so it's really not that important here either i don't even know if monks get it i think monks get it or is it just wisdom for monks that might be <laughs> 5e as well uh man Having played Baldur's Gate 3 has really sort of addled my mind in terms of the rules. But, um, yeah, I mean, if that's not the case, this doesn't do anything but give you HP. It's not the most useful thing to have as your highest stat. Now, but the dex thing, you can get this up with, like, belts and, and, and things like that. Belts, mainly. Um, but not enough to really make use of, of this stuff at the end here. Um, so, yeah, Charisma is her next highest stat, which is, let's go ahead and get here, which is good for, like, sorcerers, uh, bards, um, you know, those kinds of things, oracles, I think, maybe, uh, or the, at least there are some oracles, but what I'm thinking of doing, so we can, we can dip in the monk a bit, you know, we can go into Scaled Fist Monk here. Right, and this is gonna get us, and I did look up a guide. I found a guide of what I was trying to look for that I thought could be decent. Um, and sort of the idea here, she's going to be still like a knight, but like a magical, an eldritch knight by the end. Um, so we're gonna end with her being, you know, mostly an eldritch knight. Um, in order to do that, we need to get arcane spellcasting though. Now, Eldritch Knights blend the abilities of fighting classes and spellcasters, hurling magic at the enemy one moment and hewing them down. Uh, now, I don't know if this is really going to be good for um, us because our intelligence isn't great. But I don't think we're really doing it for, like, attacking spells. Um, which is what the intelligence is really going to be used for. So, and the guide I was looking at also goes into Dragon Disciple a little bit. 
that we're going to need to get our knowledge arcana up an ability to spontaneously cast arcane spells at first level um so but first it goes into scaled fist monk and that's going to get us improved unarmed strikes not going to be really important she's already got the bastard sword um Right, we've already got that stuff. But, um, unarmed strike again. Not really important. Monk proficiencies. We get all this stuff. Also, not really important. When wearing armor, using a shield, or carrying a medium or heavy armor, a monk loses this AC bonus. His AC bonus as well as his fast movement of flurry blows. Doesn't say what the movement is, uh, or the AC is. It'll get to it, though. When unarmed, here we go. And unencumbered, the monk adds his charisma bonus, if any, to his AC and CMD. So this isn't going to be that big right now because I think the heavy armor is still going to be better than nothing. Um, the heavy armor and shield, that is. Because this, yeah, using a shield too. Right? Gains one bonus AC and CMD bonus, bonus increases by one up to, yeah, blah, blah, blah. These eight bonus to ACs apply even against touch attacks. He loses these bonus when he's mobilized. Wears any armor, carries a shield, and when he has medium or heavy load. Right. So we got to make sure their load's not good. Stunning fist and scaled fist bonus feet. So we get some feats here. Um, combat reflexes dodge crane style. I'm pretty sure crane style is what we're going to be going for this level. Let me just real quick take a peek here. Make sure I'm not going crazy about what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, crane style and, and mobility. So that's what we're going to be going with this level. And since I've got it up now, I'll tell you. So level 2, Scaled Fist. And then we go level 3, 4, 5, and 6 as Sorcerer. And then we'll be able to dip into Dragon Disciple for, it looks like, 4 levels. And then we go into Eldritch Knight. Um, and Eldritch Knight, we can't actually see it. So that's that's the, the plan here. So Crane Style. Is what we're going to go for right now. Oops. And I'm hoping by the end of this, she'll have a more unique sort of feel. Um, and because the other thing is, that I think she'd be a decent just like sorcerer with the charisma. Yes, your first level is completely wasted if you go down that route. But with her charisma, she's she'd make a good sorcerer. I saw a couple of bard builds. There were a lot of... Um, tower specialist builds people just going with it i just don't really like tower specialist um and then there were a couple of like modded classes and i thought about playing this game with the mods um i'm pretty sure somebody asked me if i was gonna or recommended it um and to be honest when i started this playthrough i completely forgotten about it and i debated whether or not i wanted to restart but i've restarted this one so many times i just want to go um so we're, we'll make do with what we have. And I don't know if I can like add the, that mod after I've started the playthrough. If I can, let me know. Maybe I'll add it anyway, and then we can respec if we want to. Um, But yeah, right now we're going to go Scaled Fist. And I think this matches a little bit with her lore because, you know, she's a bit lost, right? So she she's sort of turned her back on who she was and, you know, has left that behind and become this really sort of um what's the word sort of like a dull knight right um but she's not really good at it so you know she's going to be trying different things to try and find her own path um and as we go and hopefully you know we help her through some of her problems she'll be less worried about using you know She's not really even using divine magic in any of this, but you know what I mean. I think it for I think it works. So scaled fist, and it suggests pumping two into mobil. No, yeah, pump mobility to two. So we've done that. Um, lore, religion, and athletics. Sure, that works fine for me. Hold on, I think we need Arcana too, don't we? For Arcana has nothing in it right now. When do we get... We'll get Arcana later when we get Sorcerer class. And we'll probably get, have that as a... um. 
a thing as a thing. Because don't these cost like more than No they don't. Maybe yeah, we can do this. We have somebody else with high religion, don't we? Can I not see that? Nope. Uh Harren. Harem has religion. Okay. And then Crane style. Crane style is you take only a minus two penalty on attack rolls for fighting defensively. While using this style and fighting defensively, you gain an, an additional one dodge bonus to your AC. All right, so that'll help her AC and attacks while, you know, doing her stuff. So there we go. And hopefully that works out. Hopefully this works out well. I think it will. I think it's going to be cool. Whether or not it's super effective, I don't know yet. And I'm going to try and do this with most of the classes. I don't know if we're going to find a cool or interesting way to build a Miri. I do kind of like my idea of making um, Lindsay more of like a duelist kind of character. We're going to try and keep the bard going. Maybe like 10 bard. So she's going to be a big chunk of her level is going to be bard. I saw, um, I know a popular one for, for this bloke. Harem <laughs> is to make him into a um, a blight druid, right? And that does sit, fit his theme pretty well, I think. And he also mentioned in his dialogue that uh, Grotus doesn't really have clerics, so it does make sense. It makes sense, and you know, with the story of this um, game, I think it would fit pretty well. He's also somebody who's pretty lost, you know, trying to find himself. Right? Even look at this picture; he just looks. I mean down so i think that'll work yep 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 okay let's go ahead and continue up this way all right we've reached the thorn river you're gonna follow the thorn river up and into the thorn ford resting would be nice okay don't you think so Lindsay is going to be tired during this, but that's okay. Another thing about her is like, if she doesn't get tanky, which the guy's claims for this build is that she will get super tanky. But, um, you know, we also have Agranac, who's, who's not going to be a slouch in the tank department. But we want to make sure she is fighting defensively at all times. Right, so takes a minus four penalty to attack rolls and combat maneuvers to gain two dodge bonus to your, a a your AC. If you have three or more ranks in mobility, you gain plus three to dodge bonus to AC. So that's why we're going to want to get the three in mobility. There's going to be three AC from that. And then this adds another one. So if I look at her AC now... I don't think it shows up, but it should be 36, right? Yes. So her AC right now is 30 or 26, I'm sorry, which is pretty damn high. She should not be getting hit too much. And because of that, I think we probably want to change this slightly. I wish it snapped a little better or at all. Maybe something more like this. No, I liked it the way it was. I liked it like that. It was something I haven't really done before. It's... Yeah. Okay, anyway. It's so, pretty dark here. Okay, so we got here at night. Let's go ahead and push forward. Make sure we're not missing anything on this side of the Thorn River. Aha! Another ancient Rustlandic coin. And I have a... I don't know if I ever collected all of those in the my original playthrough of this. Okay. Let's cross the river here. Man, that tree is dark. <laughs> Pretty sure they're out over here. What's Oop. that? 
What is that? A trap. Let me see something here. Yeah. Another scorched fragment of a necklace. And go ahead and disarm this trap for me, Lindsay. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Repent. I don't like surprises. Oh, very nice. Good job, Amiri. Alright, so it's a summon summon creature trap. I failed. I'm sorry. You can do it. Anything else? There you go. More more herbs. Okay. The path is clear. Aren't there enemies up here? A sturdy cart with weapon marks along the sides. Alright, so this is the end of this path. Yeah, look. The little thing there. Enemy near. Alright, attack this guy first. Um, you should be attacking this guy since you're the only one that can hit him. Good. I've spotted something. Wow, they still hit her. That's crazy. Hmm. It's not working. Weird. I don't know. Three damage. Ow. Okay, so we're just getting hit now. I don't like that. Can you fight defensively? I require Holy healing. shit, man. No. I don't know how that works. Learn from my mistake. Okay. You kill them. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, well that didn't go well. Gnome hooked hammer. And we're all fatigued now. Great. Masterwork heavy flail. Alright, so we've got another one of these rings. You can take that. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this on the ground for now. That too. Oh my god. We are caring too much. We'll pick all this stuff up as we leave. Okay. We are, we are all fatigued now, so that's not good. Not having anybody really good at ranged yet is a problem. Lindsay is our best ranged character. And she's not great. I guess I have the Wand of Magic Missile. I probably should be using that, huh? Um, now we do need to drink some potions. Uh, go ahead and have one more. Valerie, you can have one too. We're going through these pretty quickly, it feels like. Let us be careful. Alright. So now I'm gonna save it. I feel tired. Come down here. The dark-haired bandit is kicking the ground irritably. When she sees you, she squares her shoulders and clinches her hand axe. Well, look who's here. A bandit responsible for collecting taxes for the stag lord, one of the first dwellers of the stolen land who you met on your arrival. Requires good. Easy now. I'm not here to blanket the stolen lands with corpses. Throw your weapons and let's talk. I won't kill anyone who leaves the stag lord's service or is willing to help me find him. So think about it. Is he really a leader you're ready to die for? I'm looking for the Stag Lord's fortress. Perhaps you'd be willing to help for a small reward? You can tell me everything you know about the Stag Lord and where he's hiding, or you can die. I'm not here to talk. Fight and die. We're going to be good. Something in your words seems to have impressed Kressel. 
She frowns for a moment, then spits. Fine. I won't cut your throat. For now, at least. But I also want but I also won't kneel to some rest of upstart. Why would you try why would you try to make peace? Are you just naturally kind? Or have you been listening to Svetlana? Is it so hard to believe I simply might not want unnecessary bloodshed? Svetlana asked me to show you mercy. I don't know why. Neutral? My motives are my own. Just accept that I don't want you dead. This isn't kindness. It's good judgment. Your death doesn't help me in any way. Svetlana did ask me to show you mercy. She frowns and looks away. Mercy, huh? Haven't heard that in the Stolen Lands for a long time. Alright, here's my price. The Stag Lord's been spending more time keeping an eye on the bottom of the bottom of his glass than on what's going around going on around him. If he won't answer an insult from some rest of crook like Jamondi, then you're right. We chose the wrong leader. So go ahead. Do whatever you're gonna do. I won't stop you, but I won't help you either. And here, give this to Svetlana. The bandit places a ring in your hand, then leaves. Huh. And all the times I've done this, I've never had this happen. Usually I just kill them, to be honest. Wow. This is the first time I've never had to fight them. A watchtower, these bandits, the bandits seem to have planned to seriously secure the area. Yeah, yeah. The bandits' belongings are piled together in a messy heap. Perception. Succeeded. You find a cache under the cloths and blankets. Opening the lid of a small hollow, you find a box full of bottles. An inscription on the side reads, Wine for the Stag Lord. Don't you dare steal it, fools. I'll make sure you rot. Poison the wine. Pick the wine. Break the jars. Uh, we're going to take them. Receive the Stag Lord's wine. 125 gold. I don't... I know poison gum actually has an effect, but... Oh, I forgot he was here, too. The path is clear. I can't believe that worked. I failed. I I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, it's locked. Okay, we've got... Notes. The notes of a traveling priest. Ithluyak. By Tyron Dean. We'll take that. We've got sweet pancakes here. And rent orders. Kressel, a task. As soon as you're done with the taxes, find an old hut in the woods upstream of the Thorn River and burn it to the ground. This is the Stag Lord's wish. He literally said, burn, burn. It was originally going to be Dovin, but he grew upset when he learned nobody lived in the hut. Said burning houses with no one in them was boring. So I said I'd send someone more reliable. It's a strange task, but try to finish it quickly. And no asking what the, or why bother with the, with this trifle instead of preparing for war with Restov. We'll get to that, A. You see a dark-haired man of about 45, though the wrinkles on his face make him look 60 at first sight. He currently He is currently a prisoner, judging from his tied hands. He slouches a bit, squinting short-sightedly at, the, at the light as he moves his lips, as though speaking to someone invisible. He jerks his head up as he notices you. Praise Erastal. Someone finally chased off those scoundrels. Thank you, stranger. My name is my name is Jod Kavkin. I'm a priest of Arastal, from Galt. Those bandits attacked me as I was crossing the river, and they wanted to take me to their leader, make me heal their wounds. Not a chance. The strength granted me by Arastal is meant to help honest people, not robbers. How'd you come to be in these lands, Jod? I was led here by visions, sent here by the Elk God. Jod says with a veneration. Arastal showed me that somewhere in, these, in this wild land lies the Temple of the Elk, an ancient shrine, forlorn and desecrated. I saw the ruins of the temple and the shadows of a predator lurking in sorcerous fog. I felt the echoes of the vicious rituals performed at the once blessed place. I have no doubt. Erastal revealed all this to me so I could stop the ungodly sorcery that's desecrating temp the temples. Where is this temple? That I don't know. Visions, even divine ones, are often vague and unreliable. I know only that the temple is somewhere near, in the ne in the gnarled marches, but I'm afraid I won't be able to find it myself. What with the bandits lurking round every corner in this place? Jod shakes his head sadly. I I'm glad I could help you. Release him. Jod mutters a bit, rubbing his hands. Oh, these times. 
to be as surprised to meet an honest man as to be as to see a manticore at a vegetable stall. Thank you for your help. I've exhausted my supply of prayers, but I'll gladly repay you in the future once I've restored my strength. Come to me if you ever need to be healed or blessed. I'm afraid an old fool like me won't be able to handle the mission given to me by a rastal on my own. How can I search for the temple when the bandits around here won't let me take a single step? I'll head to Oleg's trading post to rest and think on what to do next. Please, traveler, if you happen to discover the ruins of the Temple of the Elk, come inform old Jod. My gratitude will know no bounds. See you, Jod. All right. Got anything else in here? No, we can't unlock this yet. We'll have to come back at some point and see what's in there. Once we find a proper thief. Did I read that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, looks like we missed a couple of items. That's the treasure I dropped. Got some edible moss up here. I'll go ahead. A big old sack. Take that. Get that moss. Beautiful. Anything out over here? What about up here? I don't think so. Alright, so we need to rest. So we're gonna set up our camp right here. Let's go ahead and set it up and take a rest. Rations needed five. Ooh, we only have ooh, okay. Um, I forgot how to do this. So Um, I thought it was oh, manage. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna use our rations, which means we only need to find one of these. Camp camouflage, cooking. She's good at cooking. I'm probably not bad at cooking. Does she have eight for this? Hmm. How do I move you guys? Like that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not how that works. Okay. Are you good at anything? No. You're bad at everything. Uh, he's probably good at cooking, though. Not as good as her, though. Okay. Um, I guess everything's fine. All these... Oh, this is better. Can I make these? I can make those. Seasoned wings. What does this give us? One temporary hit point per level for a day. Not bad. Use hitting spells and abilities before resting. Resting? Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. You studied writing for such a long time, put so much effort into your art, and they threw you out of the academy. Yet in spite of all this, you didn't give up. Why? Maybe because if I did give up, it would mean that they got what they wanted. Or no, maybe because life without writing would be so boring. Hmm. To be honest, I never really thought about it. Hmm. Perfect. We got one ration. We weren't able to cook, though. Damn. Continue. Okay. But we're not hungry, so that's good. I really love the camping mechanics in this game and in uh, Wrath of the Righteous. It's nice. Simple, but nice. Alright, let's go ahead and head out. We do want to collect all this back. All right, and now the plan is to head to Fangberry Cave on our way back to Oleg's. That way, we'll get the berries, and if we take any damage, we'll get healed by the priest we just got. So everything's going to be just fine. We also learned about this house that uh, she was supposed to burn down. Not to deal with. All right, keep going. A whole bunch of little trails we could go down. this way. Do you want to enter this location? Yes.
And then after we do all this stuff and go to Oleg's, we'll prepare to go down to the old Sycamore and deal with that big, uh, big, big thing that happens there. But first, we need to survive this. So we have seven alchemical fires. Um, we're gonna give you some. Really, you should be the main person doing this. I think your dex is pretty good too, Lindsay, so you're gonna have some too. I'll give you two of them. Okay. I'll give you the last one, or another one. Okay, so we'll probably want to change um, our formation up here too. Because we don't, so we're gonna go here. And basically what we want is her to be way in the front. And then have you guys sort of like right here. Maybe a little bit wider. And then Lindsay and Agranak right here. That should keep them safe in order to throw the alchemist, alchemist fire. At least that's my hope. Because these spider swarms, they are usually such a pain. Like, <laughs> some of the worst enemies in the game at early levels. I don't remember if there's, like, anything else out here. There's young deers. And what is this? Looks like a kobold. Ooh, healing potion. Up, oh, monitor lizards. Watch. This is where I step in. Good. Is that a critical hit? Nice. There we go. Go and skin them. Get that meat. Grab this stuff too. Alright, that went pretty well. Took a little bit of damage there, but happens. How far away are we from leveling up? Pretty far, about halfway. Maybe turning in these quests will do it though. That'd be nice. Alright, let's save it. Almost tempted to go into turn base mode. Everybody hold. All right, now attack. Your life ends low. Good. Amiri onto this one. Ah, damn it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Lost strength. We got fatigued already? What? God damn it. Yeah, I hate the that that, that poison. I don't think uh, the, the little spiders are here until further in. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to need to drop some stuff in order, to, in order to move around better. So... Drop, 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 drop. Might as well just drop all this stuff until we're ready to leave. There we go. Tread lightly. That went pretty well, though. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate that Amiri got hit with that, but she does have a lot of strength, so she should be able to still function well. Do you still have that on? Hesitate. I'm wondering if um, hmm. we need to look at look out. Maybe it was just because it was a ranged attack. Let us be careful. Anything is possible. We will prevail. All right, back up. Draw him to us. All right, attack. Serves you right. Ha Mirror back up. 
Shit. Lindsay. Damn it. Let us strike as one. You deserved it. There we go. It's unfortunate that Lindsay got hit. What are you gonna do? Okay. Now, if I recall, the berries are right. Yep, there they are. We don't want to grab them quite yet. The hard part of this place still hasn't, we still haven't gotten to. So, would be nice, don't you think? I uh, probably would be smart to rest before we try this, but I've saved it. There they are. What troubles you? Blood for Gorum! Hold. Do not falter. Oh my goodness. So much already. Again. You guys can get in there Great. on these guys. What a waste. Yeah, look how little damage it's doing to them. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if magic missile works well on them. I can't keep this up much longer. Doesn't look like it. Try it on that. Uh, do you have any more? I'll give you one more. And then we'd have to get him from... Um... Wait, do we not have any more? I thought we had more. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Why can't I throw it at them? Are they dead? A solid plan. Looks like it. Any last wishes? All right, we killed one of them. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more swarms, but. All right, let's go ahead and heal. Here we go. Okay. And we don't have a whole lot of them left now. I'm going to take them off of you. And give them to me. Is this acid? Acid flasks. I'm pretty sure those work too. Keep your eyes peeled. These guys look like barbarians. Here we've got Cure Moderate Wounds Wand. Potion of Lesser restora Restoration. Is that all there was? No, 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 there's another path. I, I knew there was. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more swarms down this way, too. I'll go ahead. Okay. Just let Aggro this. Running won't help you. Hold. That was a good... Forwards! Yeah, everybody on attack now. Except for you, Agronek. Good. You guys on him. Tear them apart! Is that strength? Oh 
Another. Did I kill them with that? No, that's a spider swarm. Fuck. Heal. Okay, we've lost one. Damn it. Survive. Mm. Okay. We need to kill this thing. I've only got one more thing left. Did I save before I did this one? I don't think I did, did I? That's good. Survive. I always survive. Okay. Don't think I have anything else to do or use. Don't know if that works. Hmm. Pretty sure it's mostly AoEs. Do we have torches? Didn't, don't, I don't know, maybe not. Well, I guess we just gotta hope that this is enough. I healing. I always survive. Can you move out of them? Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of there. I always survive. Attack. All right. Just to be, be sure, this doesn't work, right? Oh, she keeps failing to, to cast with this. Why? Why is the DC so high with that? Okay. I guess we'll try this. I mean, like, I don't really know what else to try here. Oh, can I try again? I think this is a wipe. Oh, it worked. But it's just not enough damage. Fuck me. I feel faint. Yeah, immune. Hmm. Did you have something I could use? I know I could have healed. I could have raged. Learn from my mistake. Okay. Well, go ahead and reload to wherever we were at. Yeah, I didn't. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Hmm. We should gather our strength. I guess not being fatigued would have helped, too. We did well this fight. Kind of. Just letting the ink dry. Blood for Gorum! Everybody hold. Now attack. Repent. Let us strike as one. God damn it. They react so slowly. Look at all the damage she just took for nothing. Tear them apart. Won't kill me. Do not falter. 
Okay, this seems like it's going worse than before. I can't um, keep this up much longer. <coughs> oh, right. That worked, but we are in terrible conditions now. Amiri got completely destroyed. Yeah. Look at her strength now. That's so bad. Ugh. Okay, well. I'll go ahead. Anything is possible. We're gonna use moderate wounds on you. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal using these things. Instead. Because I think I might be able to use this on them. Maybe. It's worth a check. Oh yeah, we have this too. Everywhere I go, a pole hangs over everything. Though people say it was better before I arrived. Okay. The path is clear. As restoration dispels any temporary magical effects, reducing the subject's ability scores. Does not re remove permanent effects such as curses or diseases. Or cures 1d4 points of temporary ability damage to one of the subject's ability scores. Is that what this... It says permanent. By resting or with the help of lesser restoration spells. Okay. So it should work for you. It does. Okay. That helped a little bit. Not a whole lot. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, it looks like we need to drop more stuff. Okay, let's save it again. We didn't have to use as many potions or alchemical fire this time. Would be nice, don't you think? So that's good. Okay. Enemy near. You're gonna go after them. Everybody else, go after that. Solid plan. Uh, okay. Can you throw yours too? Killed the spider. Like the big spider. Oh my god, we keep missing. Okay. Let's hope that this works. Damn it. We don't have any more, do we? Yeah, I don't know what to do now. Like, it's super frustrating. Um,. Okay, while they are struggling with that, um, <sighs> hmm, I don't know why she can't cast this. I thought she was supposed to be good at that kind of stuff. Well, 
I guess you can try these things. I don't think it has like a ton of health. Here, I'm gonna go try and loot. I right, dealt another one damage. Can I not loot while we're in combat? If we rolled anything besides, you know, uh, a one on damage. I guess you can't loot while damaging or not. Oh shit. I mean, there's no point. We, I guess we just need to try and run. That's so annoying. <laughs> Or, you know, let's reload. Because we have this quick save. I think if we just if we just land the, the tosses on these things, it wouldn't it be so bad. Like, they have what? Like, 10 health? More strength. I hate this cave. <laughs> I've always hated this cave. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Let us strike as one. Oh, great. All of you on him? Serves you right. Okay, you on him then. Repent. And you. That. One damage. Yay, yay. Good stuff. Not. I think you have a better chance of landing these. It's completely whiff. A solid plan. This. So annoying. Like, just land the shot, man. Is it because I'm shooting in the combat? Okay. An armor class is 19. Well, no wonder I'm failing. All right, last one. Okay, can you cast anything else with this? Like negative energy? I think that hits everybody, but try it anyway. Nope. Okay, so... Unless you can do something with this, we are done here. Don't hold your breath, though. Survive. I always survive. I'll survive. I always survive. I'll end me. Survive. I always survive. Oh my god. Please hit. <laughs> Yeah. 
Look, there's only like four of them left. Wait, I missed, but I don't... Okay. Me and the magic missile. Well, I was close. Yep. I don't think we've got anything. Try again. This is probably going to be the hardest battle in the entire game. <laughs> and I'm only slightly kidding. More strength. Oh Thanks. my god. I, I said, okay, if it doesn't work this time, we will rest before we do this. I really didn't want to take another rest because that's just a waste of damn time to <laughs> beat a bunch of spiders. I epic pose. I need inspiration. All, right, all of you, but Agronach attacked. That big spider. Agronach. I thought I did three damage to it. I was about to cheer like none have ever cheered before. Maybe I did do three, three damage on it, and I can cheer. That'd be nice. How much damage did it do? One. Your life ebbs low. Nope. Nope. Yes. What could be worse? And will be. Definitely will be. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and have you start doing this now. Did three damage to them. <sighs> it's not going to be enough, is it? Yes, I survive. I always survive. I'll survive. I always survive. Okay. I'll survive longer. I always survive. I don't know if resting is really going to make a difference. If like. I'm being real with you. We'll get, what, 5% more chance to hit. I guess that's a big difference, but. I don't know how to. More strength fades. I wonder if I can sneak up on it. Let us bide our time. That's the wrong one. What's the sneak button? Here, here, here. I'm out of sight. If I can sneak up on it, maybe, and throw it on it, then perhaps. Enemy near. There you go. Three damage right off the bat. That's good. So you come up here, hit it with that. <gasps> we did it. Oh 
Oh n no. <laughs> what? They weren't there the last time. We had to come back in there. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. This won't kill me. Yeah, we can't do this. I survive. I always survive. We just need to leave. We should gather all strength. Damn, I was so excited. I was so happy. <laughs> I I could have sworn there was a time when there were more than one swarm at a time. But yeah. Okay. We should gather all strength. Well, we've got the one thing, I guess. Like this loot, which I guess really didn't do anything because it just canceled out what we had there. And this thing's just taunting me here. Alright. Let's go get the berries and get out of here. We'll have to come back when we have a... I don't know, either more of those or we're just stronger. Okay. Get this. Uh, won't work. Done. There we go. The path is clear. And we have to just go because um we don't want them to expire. Now, I noticed we didn't get to pick the treasure up in there. Um, is it going to let us pick it up here? Yes. Okay. Oh, I can't leave. I can't leave. Damn it. Okay. Um, how much are these? These are only 12 gold. That's good enough. All right. Now, as long as we don't get any random encounters on the way up, we'll be perfectly fine. Resting would be nice, don't you think? I do think. Endless Plains. I'll have to check that out, too. Oh, son of a bitch. Try to avoid. Yes. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we're in no state to fight. Actually, we probably would have been fine. Most of us were just fatigued. We weren't exhausted. But, um... I didn't want to take the risk. Plus, the episode's getting a little long. And it's really late at night. Okay. Boken. Hello. Oh, I know what this is. Listen, there's... Well... Since you dispatched the bandits with such skill, maybe you can help with another problem. There's a feral swine living here in the woods. Not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. As big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Vekel Benzin found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Amiri livens up. Hey, we're getting better with better than local wussies, right? We're better than lo the local wussies, right? <laughs> I can't talk. Want to bet I can chop off this tusk gutter snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Don't you think we have enough to worry about without this tusk gutter? The barbarian winces. Come on, listen. 
They sent us here to make things right. Bandits is one thing, but we're still supposed to get rid of monsters too. And reward is a good thing, right? Seems you're dead set on slaying this boar. Is this something personal? Yes. Amiri looks inside. Uh, or aside. Well, not exactly. I tell you some other time. Probably. And now let's just go slice that monster into bacon strips. All right, let's go kill the tusk gutter. Amiri gives you a wide grin and slaps your shoulder. Right. That's the way I like it. Let's do it. Okay. We shall do that. About that task of yours. Are these the berries you were looking for? After a quick glance at the basket, Boken grabs a fistful of berries and shoves them in his mouth. A smile of delight brightens his face. Ah, fang berries. So fresh. You've been good to an old man. Thank you. Here, take these potions. If you need more, feel free to return. I'll even give you a discount. Potion of less restoration, lesser potion of cure light wounds. Okay. What do you use these fang berries for? Truth be told, as I've gotten older, I've gotten kind of particular, and, and my appetite is almost gone. Everything I eat is particularly tasteless, tasteless to me now. Practically tasteless to me now. I can barely force myself to swallow a bite. Only thing I can still taste is fang berries. So I add them to my porridge or to a roasted meat. I even add them to my potions. When I ran out of fang berries, I stopped eating entirely. Svetlana tried to help me, the deer. She baked pies for me, cooked me fish soup and stewed venison, but I just couldn't eat any of it. I was desperate. Those damn spiders had sucked the last bit of joy out of my life. If not for you, I'd pretty much have starved to death, miserable to the end. Yeah, they sucked the joy out of my life too. All right, cool. Got that done, let's sell to you. Uh, offer, sell. Okay. I think we can get rid of this too. Um, we are going to get a gnome eventually. I'll hold on to it for now. Yeah, we'll hold on to everything else. And we don't need this book. There we go. 2,000 gold. In fact, if we sell, if we sold that, um, this hammer... We'd get quite a bit. This too. But uh, not quite ready to do that yet. Um, this is what I want to do. want to learn how to make sweet pancakes. Alright. Oh yeah, we have the ring for Svetlana too. I knew there was something else we had to do in here. Svetlana greets you warmly. Good day to you. Do you need anything? I'd be happy to help. Here's a ring, Svetlana. Kressel gave it to me. I even managed to convince her not to fight me. Svetlana sighs bitterly. I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Kressel wasn't her real name. Her real name was Irina. Irina. Before all this, she was the daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that's happened to her was my fault. She always had a wild wildness to her. She'd wander the streets hanging out with a bad crowd until the day she passed. Mother complained about Irina, Irina constantly. Back then, it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Restov. Her father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try to help her. I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Eleg Oleg was against it. And once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how he was a real leader, unlike Restov's softies. Eventually, she ran away only to return under a new name, with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stag Lord's minions. I don't know if there's any way to set her back on the right path, but I'm grateful for your kindness. Perhaps there's still hope. For the sake of my mother's memory, I'd like to believe that. Camping supplies and rations times 10, 4 to 5 XP. Nice. All right. Still got a ways to go to get the next level, but that's a couple more quests off the list. Got 85 days left. Examine the old hut. Now we know the location of an old hut that the Stag Lord wanted destroyed for some reason. We're going there to find a way to fight the Enchanted Fog. Mm -hmm. Tartuccio, now in the guise of a kobold, has disappeared. 
All we know is that he's searching for a certain artifact or relic in the vicinity of the old sycamore. That means our road leads there too. Almiri learned about the bounty on the head of Tusk Gutter, a dire boar that's terrorizing the local populace. The stubborn barbarian demands we drop everything and go kill this beast right away. It doesn't seem to me like this is about the reward, but slaying the beast in single combat is very important to her for some reason. Jod, a cleric of Verastal, has told us about his vision of the Temple of the Elk lost somewhere in the wilds. He asked us to help to tell him if we happen to find it. Kill the giant boar known as Tusk Gutter and bring his head to Oleg. All right. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we'll uh, either... I think we're going to go to the Sycamore, but maybe we'll go to Tusk Gutter. I don't know. We'll have to see where everything's out on the map. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.